Okay, okay. So let's start back at the let, let's 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 roll it back right quick. Let's okay. roll it. Let's roll okay. it back right quick and just make a quick synopsis to where we at right now. You're loaded. You're on your way. GPS yep. takes you down this little narrow ass street. You you come around the curve. You come around the curve. I guess you didn't make it wide enough. You get stuck. Run over yep. and run over a old fire hydrant that hasn't been in that hasn't been in purpose for yes. God knows and how it's long. Under, it's un it is on the surface of the grass. Okay, on the surface of the grass. Okay, so it's so it's, it's not something up and that, tall. right. So it's something that you couldn't see. You you didn't see that. No. So I didn't see it until after. Yeah. So you come over, you get stuck. A couple of guys came out. They try to help you. You backed up. Unfortunately, didn't work. Busted out the two tandem tires. Call the yep. tow. Call the tow truck company. Or oh, no, no, the police was called. Police got a tow truck company out there because they had to clear the road. Unfortunately, it's state property, so they had to called state troopers out there to, to survey the damage that was done to the fire yeah. hydrant. Okay, yes. so fire hydrant damage, but you did not get a you did not get cited. You didn't get a citation. You didn't get a ticket. You didn't no. get nothing. The only thing that is is that you had to call claims, let them know about the damage, and they should you know what they should expect. Okay, they get you up out of the right. ditch. They get you yes. up out of the ditch. So instead of putting you on the side of the road where you're supposed to be, they decide to tow the truck to their yes, yard. They said they are not releasing it. They told me they're not releasing the uh, truck. Uh, okay. Until Swift. Uh, wait. Okay. Okay. That's understandable. Okay. But there's a problem mm -hmm. with getting them to take it. The, there's a problem with getting them to take being taken care of. That's understandable that they won't release the truck until. It get paid. Okay. So unfortunately for you, you don't have your calm data card on you for whatever reason. We don't need to go into discussion about that. But uh, okay. So they take the truck to the yard. They get the truck into the yard. Now mm -hmm. you, now here's where the shenanigans come into play of you trying mm -hmm. to pay for the truck. Start from there. One of the ma one of the head managers got on on the phone with our you don't have to uh, say no name service yeah with our road service and then we got on three way and they decided to pay pay them right um the comp at first the company was saying that I needed to be to leave the premises because that they were closing not allowing them to pay then that person took us over to the the owner I guess was the, who was the, thought was the owner mm -hmm. and he said he's leaving in fifteen minutes so he needs to be paid immediately we had an invoice sent over and when the in, so when the invoice we received the invoice with my managers on my side receiving the invoice okay We're on the three way before the three now before they got the invoice you, they was trying to figure out ways to take care of the bill because unfortunately you didn't have your com data card and number two mm -hmm. they wouldn't the com data checks or you didn't have any com data checks which one was it okay so you did you have a com data check or no we didn't even explore it because they had another option of a virtual mastercard okay so, so the virtual mastercard is it's not virtual basically they'll just give them the numbers off the card and the expiration date and all like that but uh, yeah, okay, so they didn't... so they gave them the card. They no, go they, well, they, they gave gonna... they gave them the information to the card. No, no, they get they wanted we wanted to receive the invoice first of how much it was going to be, and then send them the virtual Mastercard. Oh, okay. We got their email address, right? And when the representative that was on the phone with us saw the amount, he said, "We cannot even do this tonight." But wait, though, wait. They, mm -hmm. I, I thought, I thought they charged the card, uh, or at least that's what that's what I got of got out of it. So they get uh, okay. So it wasn't. So they gave them the invoice. When, invoice. It, okay. The when they got the amount. Of, they gave them the amount of the invoice, and the amount mm -hmm. of the invoice was how much? 
$28,000. Like $28,000. Yes. Three zeros. <laughs> yep. This tow truck company is charging you guys, or they want $28,000? Yep. Come on, man. Did they, driver and driver, okay. did they do $28,000 worth of work? What, Hell no. What did they do? What did they do when they came there to get you out of the ditch? Like, they live one foot to the left. Okay. On the pavement. Boom, boom. That's all it was. D w a, a simple one, two step. Yep. Okay. Now, being that you couldn't, of course, pay for them to do that, they're not releasing the truck until they get paid. So they decided to take the truck to their yard. So we figured the wrench out, we figured the tow, or we figured the wrench out, we figured the hookup, because they charge for every little thing. Mm -hmm. The wrench out. The hour, the, the, maybe the hour, they charge maybe by the hour. So if it's only took them 15 minutes, they're going to charge you for an hour. So the hour to get the rent, the rent, the hour, the wrench out, the hookup, mm -hmm. the toll to their yard, and that's mm -hmm. it. And not, not it, it, it hasn't even begun storage yet. Because they just got it to, they could charge for storage too. Because when they get it in the yard, they, they automatically charge for storage. You figure all of that. Now, I could figure all of that being about 2800 I could see that. The extra zero? 28000 Yes. The reason. What's the reason? My man Go ahead. Got livid, they, the, my head manager got livid on the phone. I put him on speakerphone. And he wanted to know why was this tow $2,800? No, $28,000. $28,000. They said it was because of the weight of the load. What? The weight, they charged a certain amount. He said they charged according to the weight was the weight of the load was $38,000. And they did their calculation. And the weight of that lift, that tow, or whatever they did, was twenty eight thousand. My God! Oh my God! That's such a scam, right there. Yeah. That is such yes. a that is such a scam, right there. So not only that they charging you for all of the little stuff that they did, but they also charging you because of the weight of the load. Yes, twenty eight k. Yeah. That's just starting off because that storage gonna be even more. Yep. Twenty eight K. So the so the head manager, of course, refused at that point. Guess he refused to pay because he can't pay because they only have a certain threshold on the card. Yeah. So yeah, for the car. So now the truck is in the yard occurring storage fees. So I'm assuming, no, let, let's not me assume. I'm, I'm thinking that this isn't going to be taken care of over the weekend. I'm taking it. No. Monday. Mo Monday. <laughs> they already said Monday. So the tow truck company is sticking firm on 28k they're not they're not going to be no wiggle room or anything like that they sticking firm on 28k so when monday rolls around i guess your company going to have to come out of the pocket of 28k or it's going to be more than 28k because it's it's occurring at least three days or four days if you want to call it if you want to put monday in there it's going to be four days of storage fees yep Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> okay, driver. So <laughs> So now you're in a hotel for 4 days. Who's covering the hotel stay? 
because you already you, what the, wait the oh, okay so the company is uh, okay okay yeah. so the company is covering for your hotel stay for the four days how yeah, they're are supposed to they called it in there is a way they can virtually They're the hotel i got you that's cool that's cool other my company has to respond has to pick up the phone so that's what we're dealing with now they let me stay they told me just go ahead because we're not gonna have you sit out here all night and me some food so that was very nice of them okay so here's the situation you unfortunately you don't have your calm data card for whatever reason we won't get into that you're stuck in a hotel for four days how are you eating like how are you being taken care of on your food the ladies last night they brought me they bought chicken salad some oh, okay. chips and soda okay and they gave big bags chicken sodas and chicken salad okay yeah. that the good chicken salad is on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> you said the good chicken board. salad. All right, driver, since you've been with this company, how many times have you been broken down and how many times you've been in a hotel as a part of it? Huh, since I have been in this company, this week, last from last week to this week, maybe last two weeks, I've been broken down a total of four times. Four times. And how many trucks? Three trucks. Three trucks. So from the initial truck that they actually gave you, that broke down, they put you... Actually, three times. That, actually, that truck in itself broke down four times. My very first day of work, it broke down. It was an air issue. The next day, the battery went out. When I got on the road and on my way back, on my way to home time, the battery went out again, and all the batteries had to be replaced. And the fourth one is when it, the alternator burned. So and then, seven times, and then, seven more, yeah. So seven <laughs> times that you've been broke down in three different trucks, including the first yeah. one. Wow, yes. that's crazy. Second that no, he, we don't have to go into de we we don't have to go into details. We already got a we already got a visual of the fact that you was broken down four times in one truck and broken down in three different trucks three different times. So yes. is it because they why are they not giving you a truck that can do the job for you? Why do you think What's going on with that? Why, why they can't just why they can't just get you if it's an older truck, I understand, but older trucks are prone to breakdowns more frequently. Is it because yeah. is it because they're not taking care of their trucks? I'm I gotta think that they're not PM in their trucks like they're supposed to be because yeah, of all these because of all these breakdowns that you occurring. Yeah, it's patchwork. They have about six to seven trucks sitting on the yard that they say that they that are the ones that that you can choose from that have been fully repaired and inspected and are ready to go. When I went over there to check out those trucks, one of them, the air pressure would not build, <laughs> would build so slow when it's supposed to build within 45 seconds. I was, there was a leak in another one. And then the one I chose didn't have leak. But it leaked later, so wow. they are not, they're patchwork in those trucks. Wow. They're, yeah. That's crazy. Do they have any newer trucks, like 22s or 21s at least, that they can give you yeah. guys? Not on that yard, but on, on, the, on my, my home yard, there were like five 21, 22s, but they had reserved the owner ops. That's oh. why I wasn't get those. Feel there's something in the air tonight. Got a feeling coming over me. I swear that this is that place to be in the water. In the, the water.